Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to go over showing you how to create or implement a, a HTML helper class with PHP. Now, for those who don't know, a class is a group of functions that have a certain common um, denominator, such as like for this, we're going to be creating a helper class that will take care of our HTML functions. And the first uh, method in this class, you're going to create a um, CSS linking class um, function. Okay, so this is our basic HTML pa page. We're going to create a f class of fun uh, a helper class that will hold a function that will link the CSS uh, file. Now you say, well, why don't you just go ahead and do uh, use a normal uh, way of connecting a CSS file. But if you're working on big, huge projects and things can be, you know, and you can have tons and tons of files, you want to have a class that, you know, that keeps things in order. You know, so let's go ahead and start working on the helper class file. So I have a file called helper class. Start with PHP. Okay, so to start a class, just do class, the name, call this helper functions and then braces okay all right so first thing first let's make a variable that can be used within every method in our uh, class I'm gonna call this base URL this will equal to the base URL of our, well, let's say of your website. But for today, since we're working on a local machine, I'm going to call it uh, HTTP localhost tutorials PHP helper. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and create our uh, first function, which will be CSS. Okay, we're gonna set the parameter of data. Okay. All right, so let's go uh, go back into here, go into our head uh, tag. Let's look at what uh, a link tag will need. We need the href. rel uh, I guess you can do type and uh, let's see I think you can do media also okay so these are parameters that this tag accepts so say we just want the user to uh, you want to be able to just enter in the directory and the file name and for it to, and then you want it to uh, do all the rest so you can do let's make a variable called link equals link href okay data so this is assuming that the only thing you're going to enter is the data uh, where for the variable we're going to you're assuming that only thing you enter uh, entering in is the file name you know with the directory and etc so we're going to do the rest Okay, so we're just going to create the rest style sheet type tag CSS. Okay. So if we do this, do return link. 
All right, let's test to see if this works, all right? So we, uh, to f first and foremost, to use it, we're gonna need to include the file. So we can do include helper class dot php. Then we need to create a new instance of it. So we can do helper equals new. Helper functions. Okay, I'll just make sure that's what I named it. Oops, helper function. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Go into head tab, PHP, echo, helper, CSS. Let's do CSS slash styles dot CSS. Save that. Go into here in the Firefox. All right, let's pull up the source code. And there you go. You see it works. Okay. See if we was just to comment this out. See the style's not being added, so we know it works. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, get really in depth in this. Say if you want to pass an array, right, and you want to specify the media, the I guess you would like to, you know, sp specify each of the the following um, parameters. We can do it like we can do it like this. Do a simple if statement. If is array data. Okay. Do this else. Copy that. Okay, so that's it. boom. For the else statement, if data is not an array, we're just going to go ahead and build a simple one right here. And let's see if we, and since we know this is an array, we can do if array key exists. No. Okay, if we just do its array key exists. I keep spelling that wrong. There we go. All right, so what this function does, you can take the key right here, uh, say href, and now we're going to search through data. So if that key exists, we can do href equals data href okay so then we can just go ahead and go through each of these keys so H key exists row okay and then you do the same thing rel equals data URL. okay and so on and so on and then you can do return you can do let's say link equals 
link href okay uh, href rel equals rel okay save that now let's go ahead and do it like this I'm going to do array href equals CSS styles dot CSS row equals style sheet okay Go ahead and save that. Refresh on line nine. Got an error. Let's close that. No, forgot the why. Save. Okay, line 14. Okay, I'm gonna pause this and figure out what I did wrong. Can't figure out what I did wrong. I forgot the period here. Let's go ahead and refresh. You can see the styles uh, files popped up look at the source there you go all right so next time I'm gonna go ahead and go over how to create a uniformed link function that we can add to this uh, styling so thanks for watching uh, leave comments if you have any uh, suggestions of helper functions that you'd like me to uh, go over or if you'd like me to even go further in depth with this leave it in the comments uh, the source code will be posted uh, in the, the link for the source co co uh, code will be posted in the description. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thank you.